When Miro arrived in AEW, there was a lot of big expectations placed on his shoulders. But I think Miro really relished a chance to breathe and to be himself, to almost sort of take a break and reset. And once he finally reset and set his mind to becoming a champion here in AEW, he proved to be maybe the most unstoppable athlete in all of professional wrestling. He got back, oh, he oh got no, oh, this game over. Oh my and God. he got the waist lock cinched in, and it's, it's over. over. We've got a new champion. Miro has beat Darby Allen. Referee has stopped it. No one's unbeatable. I mean, we all know that. Everyone's eventually gonna lose. But if there's anybody close to being unbeatable as a champion right now, it's Miro. Miro may single-handedly be the most destructive person in all elite wrestling, but I hope he doesn't take me lightly because everyone else has. We have Saturday Night Dynamite coming up in a few weeks, and the last time we had a Saturday Night Dynamite here in AEW, it was when Mr. Brody Lee captured the TNT Championship. And when he won the TNT Championship, the Dark Order felt like the TNT Championship was theirs. Not only was Brody's, but was theirs as a group. And he went on to have a very dominant reign, so much so that the red TNT Championship will always be associated with Mr. Brody Lee. Brody wasn't only a leader to all of us. He was a friend to me. I knew him for over 15 years. We shared many, many car rides to many of the independents. We would constantly call each other and text each other and, and he would send me pictures of his family. He was one of my best friends and he meant the world to me. I'd be elated if any single member of the Dark Order were to win the TNT Championship. But selfishly, I want it to be me. It would validate the 17 years that I've taken to get to this point, that I scratched and clawed to get to All Elite Wrestling. I want to be the one who brings pride to the Dark Order. I want to be the one who brings back the championship. And I want to make him, Mr. Brody Lee, proud of me. You have the TNT champion against what you might consider a tag team wrestler. Evil Uno is a great wrestler, and he's a man that is motivated by the legacy of Brody Lee. And I think Evil Uno is gonna surprise a lot of people on Dynamite. Do I think Evil Uno has a chance? Of course he does. He's a fine competitor. With that being said, I don't think anybody can beat Miro, at least not right now. Every single year of my career, people have looked at me and said, he is not championship material. And I spent the last 17 years of my life proving them wrong. Miro, you are no different. I am pro wrestling's anomaly. And Miro, you're going to find out just how devious I can be. You know, it'll be my first time in front of a full crowd at AEW. I'm going out there, man, and I'm with closest friend in the world and we're rocking and rolling and 19 years of just grinding 19 years of mistakes 19 years of trying to be a better person like it's it was all worth it and then boom. look I, I get it you're the greatest tag team in the world i get it i get it you are you guys went overboard with the V trick, the V trick, the V trick. And now, you guys took everything. Like, how do you think Mox is gonna feel when he picks up his daughter and the first thing she sees of her father is him in a neck brace? You see, you reap what you sow in this world. Just adding insult to injury. So you do one thing? And going after the mask of Penta. It's a reaction. And this is my reaction to the it. The young buck continuing this assault. Whoa, 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 what is he doing out here? But I wasn't going to let you V-trigger somebody else and put them on the shelf. And he's not going to stand for it. There's an unwritten rule in pro wrestling, dog. You fight people, you beat them up, but you always make sure you get home safe. You guys broke that rule. I used to break that rule. What do you think it took me 19 years to get here? You think you guys will be able to get along?
Doesn't matter. We don't have to get along. I'll put it to you like this. Me and Pac have a very long history. When he first came to the States, he actually stayed with me in Pennsylvania and a couple of others. He doesn't want to admit it, but that's what happened. This is before he became the bastard. Before this business chewed him up and spit him out. Yeah, he don't like me. Yeah, I don't, I don't like him. You know what I mean? But you don't have to trust me, Pop. I don't have to trust you. But Eddie Kingston has a complicated history with Penta El Cerro Meadow, Ray Phoenix, and Pac Death Triangle. My man Penta, my best friend. He's the best in the world because he can do it all. My man can hit. My man can brawl. My man can fly. He can do it all. That's why he's the best. And the people love him. See, it'll me, it'll. They love him. Because he can do it all. And this is for the locker room. Make sure you leave this in. All of you in the AEW locker room who have been ignoring what the Bucks, what Kenny, what Don, what the Good Brothers have done. You all sit there ignoring it. You're cowards. All of you are cowards. Sad, it's sickening. It makes me want to just throw up. We take the responsibility to fight for this place. Because the Young Bucks don't care no more about AEW. Kenny, Kenneth, he don't care no more about AEW. They flipped the script. They became everything they hated. They've just become these disgusting human beings that we see before us. But don't expect me and others who love this place to sit back and just say, okay, let the youngins do that. But the grown men aren't. Let me tell you guys something. You ain't got to worry about Karma getting you. you. Better worry about me getting you. you. Better worry about Pop getting you. About Penta getting you. About this whole locker room getting you. We have to beat them up. We have to show them they're wrong. You're wrong. All we have to do is beat them up. <laughs>